Hey everyone, Ryan Murphy here with Marks and Time Photography, and it's November already. Every November, Marks and Time, we always try to do something to give back to the community. This year, we are going to be partnering with Jackson Street Youth Shelter and Family Building Blocks. So for the entire month of November, make sure you check the box when you're ordering your photos if you want us to donate $10 to Jackson Street Youth Shelter or $10 to Family Building Blocks. If you're ordering by phone or by text, our route manager, Amanda, will ask you who you'd like to donate your $10 to. As many of you know, lots of events have been canceled and a lot of charities are really struggling with canceled events and their fundraisers canceled. And this is a great time if you have the ability to really find a local charity, give them $10, $50, whatever it is. There's so much great work in our community that these charities do. And here's Julie Hilty to tell you a little bit more about Family Building Blocks and what they do. Yeah, I'm Julie Hilty. I'm the Director of Business Partnerships. So we partner with businesses like Marks and Time, um, kind of like a matchmaker where I match businesses with our programs that support children and families. Building Blocks partners with parents in Marion and Polk counties that have children between the ages of prenatal and five. And what that looks like is a parent will call us and say they know no other way to raise their children than the way they were raised, which makes sense. That's how a lot of us raise our own children. But what we hear our parents courageously saying is, I want to be a better parent, I'm struggling, and I need help. We partner with um, a family like Natalie's. Natalie and Mike live in Dallas, and they recently shared their story with us. Um, they are in our program, and they are recovering addicts, and they shared that when they had Evelyn, Stella, and Ryan, that they wanted their children to be raised better than they were raised. And so what we hear them saying is, I want to be a better parent than the way I was raised, and I think I'm going to be struggling, especially from their past, and they need help. And so we partner with them. Um, we engage in that kind of partnership through therapeutic classrooms and home visits, uh, respite care, and then we wrap around the family by offering clothing closets, food pantry, and different things like that. So the Family Building Blocks mission is simple. It's to keep children safe and families together. And we're so excited to share that 99% of the children and families that we partner with, those children are able to live safely in their parents' home, thus avoiding foster care, abuse, and neglect. So we have some exciting things coming up if anyone's curious. We have something called Hope for the Holidays, where families in the community, um, businesses can adopt our family's wishes. Like right here, we have a girl aged two years old and her uh, wish is for a book. And so we can give these to you guys if you want to hang them in your businesses or if you want an email, we can send you some of their wishes. And then some other exciting news coming out is that we're hosting our Gala of Tree. We're inviting people to go downtown Salem and also other businesses in Marion and Polk counties to bid on trees, to tour downtown to see the trees that are going to be um, up for auction. There's going to be lots of gift cards that are going to be hanging on the trees, different trips, uh, different things like that. So if anyone's interested, you guys can uh, go ahead and get on our website to see our next upcoming events or adopt families for the holidays. We want to thank Marks and Time Photography for your guys' partnership over the last several years. I know that you guys have sponsored events of ours and now we're partnering with you in 2020. If you guys want to support Family Building Blocks or partner with us, you can visit our website, you can visit Facebook, Instagram, that's where we post a lot of our upcoming events and then ways to support children and families in your community. 